Hi, maybe I'm Sosa, maybe I'm not, but you can call me Rice because that is my nickname. I am a elegant leisure content creator, which just means I like to wear loungewear and talk about different things, play different games and do art mostly on Twitch, but also on YouTube. Today, I'm doing something that is new for YouTube, but not new because I do it on Twitch on Mondays. It's Architectural Review where I watch videos and do commentary because I uh, studied architecture for several years and work as an architect, but architectural designer, I should say, but also only for public buildings. But it's just to change it up. I review houses and architecture on Twitch on Mondays. And it's usually um, celebrity home tours we do commentary on. I say we because it's chat and I. It's very interactive, but also... um architecture from famous architects or other but this time I'm doing the opposite for the YouTube channel and I'm just gonna review a minimalist house home tour I, I just found it it was on my recommended and I was like oh why not check out and I think I was recommended because I watched Kelly Stamps and she used to be minimalist so YouTube algorithm worked this magic and I saw it and I was like oh you know what I should save it and do a review about it so I'm gonna just jump in it's from Malama Life I'm just giving the credit. I'll link the video down below in the description if you want to see it without my commentary. But again, I'm going to try focus. I'll have commentary in and out, but mostly I'll be on the architecture of everything just for you to be warm. Warm. Not warm, but warm. <laughs> Let's go. How big of a house do we really need? That's exactly what we asked ourselves soon after we bought our home, decided that we didn't need very much space at all. It's is our apartment me, tour. My husband. It looks like, dogs. yes, 37 square and meters, times, like an apartment like. Room and even find our current space to be a little bit too big. 400 square feet or 37 so we made square, the uh, 27 our square house. meters, sorry. We live upstairs while renting out our downstairs. Save that money, girl. That's my aunt. If you don't need all that space and you own the house, you can do those renovations to close it off and rent downstairs. Okay, so she has a balcony. She showed us her bedroom, her living area, her when kitchen. We renovated our home. That looks we like a papaya. Kept in mind that we could move into any I don't like papayas. If the Just situation called and for the it. scent sets me off, but I can drink if it's in juice. In I'll stop talking. <laughs> To save money and to keep everything uniform. I, I'm gonna skip it to make the video short because until the tour, because she's just talking. Oh, okay. Have nothing in your house that you do not know, know to be useful or beautiful. Okay. William Morris. For Morris. our home renovation journey, I've learned that a clean and well maintained space is much better than any decoration or furniture you can buy. Well, she still has decoration. This is plants. Organ, like the parts she has, she has paintings. A peace of mind. So she still has decoration. And having only those things that truly serve a purpose can set the foundation to live a more intentional life. If you haven't already seen the tour of our upstairs, I'll leave the link in the description below. But today, I wanted to show you the other half of our home. Okay, I think now it's gonna start. So downstairs, there she goes. There we go. Welcome to our downstairs. The total living space is around 400 square foot. Okay. One bedroom, one bath. You will see right away that for a small space, there is a lot of storage. Which is good. A hallway pantry on the left. Which is good. And a Harry Potter closet to the right. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a Harry Potter closet, but okay. I get yeah. is the idea of the closet being under the stairs. But and at least I went to school in France and college we call whatever is a distributing space, which is hallways, etc. We always had we always learn and design to make it as useful as possible. So the fact that there are storage units and a little bench here with well the time is extra but the bench it makes it useful space we used to call it espace utile so that is bonus points because since it's just a space that you can't literally live in 
that should be all the places you can store things. You can sit, put sitting areas or bookshelves, things that will be useful and passing technically like there i would put maybe for me a bookshelf or something because there you're sitting to maybe talk on the phone maybe do something but usually you have to think about usefulness make it useful space if it's not going to be lived in space behind this wall that we put up is the original stairway to the upstairs it's quite soundproof and solid and so far we haven't had any issues with the noise or privacy to open up the hallway a little bit more my husband created this cute little bench out of leftover wood. It's cute. And Good idea. I even found this perfect cushion to go on top of it. It's such a cozy little If bench. that can open it's up and put the cushions bed. in, bonus points for that design. If that little thing can open up and you can put cushions or extra storage, that's right there, extra storage space. But Continuing down the main hallway, there's the living area. Sorry, that's my phone. This also serves as the dining room and the kitchen. In order to fit everything into a smaller space, okay. we knew that everything in this room had to serve a specific purpose. Makes sense. I used to live in a 20 square Starting meters, kitchen, and after I moved to a 24 square meters, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. So, like, put like tables and stuff. So, it's those miniature tables and the chairs you have to put. In this space is or foldable tables. Oven. But even I rarely use mine in the summer because it gets so hot oh she said there's no oven. oven she can get a mini oven i had a miniature see, oven well you can get air fryer the portable ones and it works just we for little things some leftover parts interchangeably also since i had a lot of extra plates bowls and cups I just brought them down here for our next tenants and notice that all the shelves they have shelves they have storage they have like cupboards like it's important to store everything it took some time to find the perfect pieces to fit this tight space but i think this is for our two people maximum <laughs> and if you invite people foldable <laughs> things have to be added the egg for home lives in all of us a safe place where we can go as we are and not be questioned Maya this dining Andrew. table set is from amazon okay. and it fits perfectly in this corner of the room yeah, we're gonna skip that since it's about Amazon. This green love seat is really comfortable and Couch. as it pulls out into a twin size bed for oh, any visitors okay. who decide to sleep. So over. they do have a little thing if visitors come in. The dinner thing, maybe not, but I think from that door they might have like a ter a terrace. A terrace? A terrace in French. A terrace. And if you have a terrace, you can like especially she lives in Maui and Hawaii. So I'm so it's probably good weather i'm My from the caribbean so it's probably like hot so you can just put people outside so you don't necessarily area. need that dining space inside that's pop bonus points you can go outside the and land eat. behind our house is private property so we don't have any other neighbors behind us bonus points you can enjoy the peace and quiet. that means you can actually At live night, outside you can, you can have hear a pin drop. you can have some outdoor space as a living space we you can have all your lunch your dinners outside your breakfast outside and that back. saves the kitchen and now the space is an extended living area to do yoga enjoy a morning cup of coffee and yeah. even do some light gardening That's cool that she has no neighbors because that's even extra. Moving on to the bedroom. What I love about the bedroom is that it's quite spacious and bright. Because of okay. the trade winds coming through this window, she do air have conditioning Maybe it's is not point. really necessary. Also, the fact that it's downstairs, it doesn't ever get as hot as our upstairs unit. She has a fan. We purposely so. left this room empty. I'm surprised Sometimes it doesn't get as hot because I think Hawaii is hot, but maybe it's not facing... The orientation the of bathroom, the place is not towards the sun. The Maybe it's wet oriented. Because everything was in pretty good condition. Sun wise. This way, we didn't have to create more waste. But heat always rises, so maybe that's why it's not as hot as upstairs. The only thing that we replaced was this toilet, and The bathroom else, is pretty spacious. Sure was I wasn't going. I wasn't expecting the bathroom to be that big. Housing is very limited and very expensive on Maui, so house hacking is actually really common house here. Hacking. And if you find the right property and just plan it out correctly, I think that it can be a really great investment. And it I can think be a win -win that's win situation yeah. for both parties. It is a huge responsibility. I think the rest is how talking about um, the house hacking. Yeah. Oh, there 
say that you see all outside. of our tenants have been so amazing so far. Yeah. Really so that's pretty much the video. But I feel like I get the essence of it. It's well distributed. I see a little keynotes of like the storage, perfect and hallway. That's where it should be. Um, like not too many dishes, not too much. The furniture is adequate to the spaces in the bedroom. Honestly, okay, we only saw the fan, the bed, etc. But like she said, it's for tenants, so I understand why it's empty. Because my question is, do they have closets for like clothes? I'm guessing it's in the hallway. I know that's kind of impractical, but since it's a small apartment, maybe it's not that bad that you have to go to the hallway for your clothes and. I don't know how close the bathroom is to that hallway. So I feel we didn't have a floor plan. So that's why I would have wished to see like a little floor plan. But as a general, I like this minimal the, this minimalist house store. It was informative. And from what she showed us, it was it was good. I liked it. It's much shorter as in this YouTube. Y'all know I try to be less than 10 minutes and I'm over 10 minutes. But and a little short time, you get a minimalistic also type of review. So if you like this, um, let me know. She says she has another half. I can also do a, minimal, a minimalist home tour review of her other half since she says she has a video of that. Again, I just, it was in a recommend. I was like, oh, let me do the reverse of what I do on Twitch on Mondays, where it's like luxurious and big houses commentary. I was like, why not do a uh, minimalist um everyday style apartment more affordable for everybody <laughs> but let me know um and thank you for watching until now and subscribe like and do all that good stuff comment if you like bye bye <laughs> i don't know bye